There he is. Got him that time. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. We're knocking on the door. Ooh, it's, it's a black crappie. Fishing a river system again today. And typically I've been finding white crappie, but that's a that's a little black crappie. He's gonna go back. I know the lighting isn't great, but you can kind of see. Let's see if we can over here. I don't know. The lighting isn't that great, but that is a black crappie right there. Little guy, he's pale because we're catching him 22 feet down. If I was catching him deeper than 25, I'd let him go. But a lot of these fish are suspended right about that 22, 23 foot range. I think it's safe enough to let him go. So this video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box subscription. Right now when you sign up, you can get this lure right here. This is the Euro Tackle Z Viber. It's the 1 8th. This is the Abu Glow. Yes, it is a glowing lipless crankbait. And uh, when it comes to pre-spawn crappie, one, you want to mimic bait fish, which is exactly what this does. So the lipless crankbaits do. And two, you really want to trigger a strike. Um, getting into March here, we're at, I'm, a, I'm filming this the last week of February, but for a lot of you getting into March, that's pretty much when most of the country starts getting into pre-spawn uh, for not only crappie, but a lot of different species of fish. And lipless crankbaits are a great way to catch them. So sign up right now, get this lure for just $1. It's a heck of a deal. I think this retails for like seven or eight bucks. So for one buck, you get yourself a lipless crankbait and it's, it's pearl white, or it's a glowing crankbait that mimics bait fish and catches a bunch of different species, but especially crappie. And I'm fishing, this is the base of a bridge. You can kind of see it's one of the concrete bases. If I spin it around here, I can actually show you the pillars. Let's do that. So there's the pillar to the bridge. Bridge fishing this time of year. As we get into, we're probably not going to get our warm water temps until April, but uh, basically all through March, bridge fishing is probably going to be pretty good for most of you across the U.S. One place to find a ton of crappie. So speaking of spots where you can find pre-spawn fish, you know, typically if you're fishing a, rev a reservoir system, which this is more of a straight river system, there's not, there isn't a dam on it, but um, if you got feeder creeks. A lot of these crappie are going to start staging in the edge of the creeks, meaning typically in the wintertime they'll suspend out over the main creek channel. Um, and they'll start pushing in shallower as water temps get back into the 40s and the 50s. Uh, if you can find any type of brush, maybe some weed edges. I don't know if there's going to be weed edges this time of year for a lot of you. But uh, if you can find any brush or timber along the banks of those creek channels, and again, they're going to be submerged, so it's going to be the drop-off area. Basically places you found them in late October and November. That's where these crappie are going to push back into. And uh, one of these ways to catch them, especially if they're suspended over open water still, casting a lipless crankbait can be a great way to catch these crappie. Might need to drill another hole. Oh, there he is. Got him that time. I was just kind of popping it, and he smacked it. And there's our white crappie. Again, not a big fish. There are some bigger fish down there, but not the crappie we want, but that is a white crappie. We're gonna catch a mixed bag on the river today. That's the other thing. If you're fishing a natural lake or if you're fishing an area of a lake that you know has a lot more black crappie, typically black crappie are gonna be a little bit more aggressive if you can find the school. And that's where lipless crankbaits can really do some damage. I jumped outside the shack here, found a different pot of fish that hopefully are going to be a little bit more aggressive for this lipless crankbait. There we go. So I'm going to be able to show you dropping down and hopefully catching a few more of these. There's some good sized crappie in here. Oh, there's something. There's one. There we go, there's a better crappie. He's probably closer to that 10 and a half inch range. It's gonna go on the ice for now. Drop back down. I don't know what that is. Is it a piece of timber or something? But 
There's still fish down there. Ooh, there's more crappie over there. Might have to go over to that spot, drill a hole over there. There he is. I think that's a bigger fish. He's digging. Oh, because it's a smallie. I was going to say, that's a crappie. It feels like a good one. But we got a small jaw. Well, these lipless cranks, they catch a lot of different species, like I said in the beginning of the video here. This is not a big smallmouth by any means. This is a pretty small one, actually, compared to what they can get in the river. But... There he is. What are you, buddy? Ooh, there's a good sized crappie. There's a good eater. Got him with both trebles, too. There we go. That one's going on the ice. Drop back down there, catch him more. Catch another one that's about that size or bigger. With that bite, he didn't actually hammer it. I was just kind of barely bouncing that rod tip. And I noticed as I started to pick up, just felt like extra dead weight. I guess he's, he just kind of came up and nosed it. Like, oh, that guy actually came up and just smacked it. This might be a little bit bigger of a crappie. He's digging. Another good, that's a good eater for sure. He hammered it. Look at that. Just choked it head first. That's when you know you're on the school of aggressive crappie right there. Stay there, buddy. Let's get back down and catch a couple more. And if you notice where these fish are sitting, they're right on the edge, kind of on the break. And it's, it's not so much, I mean, there's safety, obviously, for them, because there are pike and muskie coming around and probably biting them, or may, trying to make them their lunch. Oh, no. Oh, no, what happened here? But uh, that little break, it's a great ambush spot for, for when schools of bait fish swim by. These fish like that, they just stick their nose out, and grab a meal, and then kind of go back in cover. Oh, there we go. Dropped it right into that guy's mouth. Holy smokes. There we go. This is the school that you want to get on if you're looking for some eaters. That's the last one I'm going to keep today. It's going to be a meal. Well, let's see if we can catch a few more. Maybe we can get on a a bigger fish down there, I don't know. <coughs> when these fish get aggressive, as we get into the tail end of February into March here, man, it can be a lot of fun hit, getting to bite on these lipless crankbaits. Looks like, oh yeah, he came up and just smacked it, holy smokes. This actually feels like a good fish, I might keep this one. Oh yeah, there's another good. Good eater. Another quality eating, eating size crappie. That's probably gonna be it for me. Well, there you go. Lipless crankbaits, late winter, early spring crappie, that pre-spawn bite. Check it out. Get the uh, Euro Tackle lipless crankbait right here for just a buck when you click that top link below and you sign up for your first month of Two More Cast Tackle Box subscription. If you got any comments or questions about the, uh, the setup that I was using today, you can post them in the comments section below. Otherwise, you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. So there you go. Good luck on the water or the ice this spring, depending on how far north you live. Catch some crappie with that lipless crankbait. We'll see you in the next one.